Episode 48, Andrew's Committing Suicide. In the living room of the royal mansion, Renfrey sat obediently. She lowered her head and looked at Dante with a smile. Dante knelt and helped Renfrey put on her slippers. Andrew, who was standing by the sofa, was already shocked. Not only Andrew, but even Zion and Mr. Sparks were amazed. Dante's current behavior shocked them. Can anyone tell me who this little girl is? Andrew asked in a daze. After Renfrey appeared, Andrew maintained this expression. He'd gone to Africa for only a few months. Why did his brother seem to have changed into a different person? Dante didn't respond to Andrew. He only looked at Renfrey gently. Are you hungry? Dante asked softly. He stroked Renfrey's hair out of habit. Renfrey looked at Dante and said, How many times have I told you? Don't touch my hair. Before Dante could respond, he was interrupted by Andrew's scream. Renfrey blinked and looked at Andrew curiously. Uncle, who is he? She asked. Dante looked at Andrew. Hello, little niece. I'm his good brother. My name is Andrew. Andrew said with a smile. Hello, my name's Renfrey. She said sweetly. Andrew looked at Dante. He didn't realize that Dante was in a bad mood. Big brother, how long have you had a niece? Why didn't I know? Andrew asked naively. When Mr. Sparks and Zion heard this, they almost laughed out loud. You're mistaken, I'm not his niece, Renfrey said. When Dante heard Renfrey's words, his mood instantly improved. He held her as they sat on the sofa. When Andrew heard Renfrey call him uncle, the smile on his face froze. He just turned 21 years old this year. You should call me brother, Andrew corrected her. Renfrey nodded half-heartedly. Little niece, why have I never heard Big Brother mention you? What's your name? Do you have a boyfriend? Andrew asked. What do you want? Renfrey asked. Since you don't have a boyfriend, do you want me to introduce you to one? Andrew said. He had forgotten about Dante, who had a cold expression on his face. Thank you, I don't need a boyfriend. Renfrey said. It's okay, I promise. I'll find you a handsome and rich man. As he spoke, Andrew looked at Dante and saw that there was something wrong. Big brother, do you think she's too young? You don't have to worry. The more Andrew spoke, the more excited he became. Zion pretended to cough. Are you an idiot? For the first time ever, Andrew didn't respond to Zion. Are you done? Dante said in a low voice. No, the matter of my niece is the most important thing. Let me tell you, don't let Renfrey be with someone older than her. Andrew said, Mr. Sparks and Zion stood there, fidgeting silently and praying for Andrew. Dante had heard enough, so he suddenly stood up. Since you're so concerned about her, I'll give you your favorite gift. I'll even accompany you to get it. Dante said with a smile, but the smile didn't reach his eyes. Wow, really? Andrew said excitedly, of course. Dante nodded. Then take me there now! Andrew said anxiously. All right, Dante replied. Renfrey saw that Dante was about to leave and immediately stopped him. Dante! She shouted. I'll be right back, Dante said gently. Okay. Renfrey nodded. Andrew followed Dante happily. He had no idea what was about to happen. Will the young master be all right? Mr. Sparks asked worriedly. What do you think? Zion said in a low voice. Renfrey looked at Mr. Sparks and Zion, not knowing what they were talking about. Brother Zion, what are Dante and his brother doing? Renfrey asked. Madam, you'll find out later, Zion said respectfully. Oh, okay. Just as Renfrey was about to get up and walk around the living room, a scream suddenly came from the fourth floor. Big brother, what did I do this time? Renfrey looked at Zion in shock. There was no expression on his face. They're fighting! Renfrey said in alarm. They're probably practicing boxing. Zion said calmly. Will they get hurt? Renfrey asked worriedly. Madam, don't worry. They won't hurt each other too much. Zion replied. Renfrey heard Zion's reassurances, but didn't respond. 
Half an hour later, the brothers were still upstairs. The fourth floor was Dante's gym. It was filled with expensive equipment. In the huge gym, the injured Andrew lay on the floor. Dante stood there, looking down at Andrew. He slowly fastened the buttons on his sleeves. The light in the room shone on his golden mask. Andrew got up slowly from the floor. His handsome face from before was now red and swollen. How is it? Dante asked coldly. Big brother, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said that, but I was serious. Andrew said weakly. He couldn't believe he'd said all those things to Dante and Renfrey. Zion also hadn't told him the truth of the matter, causing him to speak out of turn and thus be beaten up so badly. You go downstairs now, Dante said coldly. Renfrey heard footsteps descending the stairs and turned to look at Dante. Andrew followed slowly behind him. Two maids supported Andrew. His face was beaten black and blue. Zion and Mr. Sparks both exhaled with relief. At least, Andrew hadn't been beaten to death by his brother.